Are you experiencing pain and inflammation in your lower back? I'm Dr. Kez, Doctor of Chiropractic. This is my wife, Em, and together we're Dr. Kez's Chiro Lab, helping you to heal at home. Today, we're gonna to take you through how to use the ultrasound for lower back pain. Yep, professional results right at home and you don't need any qualifications. Nice and simple. Cord, it is a corded device. It requires being plugged in. Powerful little unit it is. So it does draw a bit of power, but boy oh boy, does it make a difference to inflammation in your body, huge. So we're going to connect to power. You can hear the beep, we turn it on, and then we go up three times to the pulse setting for any type of inflammatory condition, whether it's your knee, plantar fasciitis, lower back pain, neck pain, whatever it might be. That is the key. There are three features to this device. The other two features are related to skin and blasting fat cells, not what we're dealing with right here, right now, okay? So the key feature with this is to make sure that you use a conducting agent so that the sound waves of this device can penetrate through the skin and get deep below the surface exactly where we need the healing. So it's really important to make sure that you put the gel on beforehand. In clinical practice, I also use our natural anti-inflammatory cream called Chirofix Injury Relief Lotion because this device, the high frequency sound waves can help the active ingredients penetrate deeper once again to where that inflammation is or where those soft tissues are causing issues. So start with our Chirofix Injury Relief Lotion. We don't need to rub this in too much. I'm just demonstrating for now how we would do lower back pain, whether it's a disc issue, arthritis, or just generalized midline lower back pain. In a moment, I'll show you what to do if you've got an SI joint problem. Now, when it comes to the gel, you can either squirt it onto the problem area or just onto the actual device itself. I find it easier, this is a new gel, to just pump it straight onto the head of the ultrasound. Once again, we turn it on, up three times, and off we go. So, key once you've got the ultrasound on the skin is to keep it moving. This is really important. We're wanting to make sure that we disperse those really high frequency sound waves right across the area of discomfort. And that's how you know where to use it. Wherever you're feeling the pain, if it's on one side, you can focus on one side. If it's right in the middle, you can focus right in the middle. The high frequency sound waves of an ultrasound are so high frequency that we actually can't hear them. Neither can animals, so don't worry, you're not gonna pierce your dog's eardrums. It is so high frequency that it excites the cells underneath the surface of the skin, which is why that conductive agent is required, so those sound waves don't bounce off the skin. They actually go through the conducting agent, through the skin, and deep underneath the surface where they're needed. Those cells start to excite, and when they do, they increase blood flow, they assist with lymphatic drainage, which is what helps get rid of the inflammation. And when an injured area is damaged, we require the cells to be excited so that they can actually start to knit back together if it's a torn muscle or it might be a ligament that's damaged or the disc. So that's really important to make sure that we get that high energy, that high frequency sound right underneath the surface where it's required to be able to stimulate those cells to start the healing process. It's a really quick way to do it. Really similar to what you would get if you went to your chiro or your physio. Some of those devices require, you know, an instruction manual and many years of learning to turn this knob and turn that. This is really easy to use. Like I said, the only things you have to remember are to make sure that you have got the gel on the skin first or on the device so that there's gel between the two and make sure you keep the device moving. And like I said, the pulsed setting is what we need for any type of inflammatory condition or soft tissue healing that we require. The next question I get from many people is how long? Now it depends on the area that you're treating. If you're treating a wrist or an elbow, for example, it's a small area, so we only require a short period of time. A lower back is a larger area, so we require a longer period of time. The way that we determine how long is by taking a look at the size of the treatment head and working out how many times the treatment head would fit in the treatment area, then we multiply it by two. Generally speaking, in a lower back, you're probably looking at about 10 to 15 minutes. If it's an SI joint, we go down off to the side here. So the lumbar spine comes down 
and then forms the pelvis. Where the sacrum is and where it connects, you will feel a bony lump. That can be really quite painful on people. If you're getting one-sided pain that's just above your buttock, then it's likely to be an SI joint problem. We then focus the area with our ultrasound on that area as well. We always find using Chirofix Injury Relief Lotion or the Trauma Relief Cream the most effective way to reduce the inflammatory response really quickly. Don't get me wrong, the device works well, but our soft tissues require particular building blocks to be able to repair. The Trauma Relief Cream or Chirofix, they have the same active ingredients. They provide those building blocks. The, ultra, the ultrasound then pushes them deep to where they need to go for healing. And that's why the two in combination work extremely well to help eliminate lower back pain. No one deserves to be in pain. The reality is if it's your lower back, it's really difficult to get comfy, comfy whether you're sitting, standing, or even lying down in bed. So it is such a good opportunity to be able to reduce this. Even if you're seeing your practitioner, you can do this in between visits to help get rid of the inflammatory response. And as a result, the healing will take place a whole lot faster for you. So that is how simple it is to use this device. Just keep it moving on the pulse setting, nice and simple, and say goodbye to your back pain. If any of those products are new to you and you haven't heard of them, check out the links below, including the ultrasound with a lot more detail on our pages to be able to explain exactly what they do and how they can help or what active ingredients are in our natural products. Check out those links below. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing or following us on socials. Heaps of videos like this coming your way to help you to heal at home. Thanks for having us on your therapeutic journey.